Good afternoon year two, I hope you've had a fantastic morning of online learning. Now I'm lucky because I get to read you my favourite story this afternoon, The Day the Crayons Quit. Now I want you to listen carefully because you will have an activity to do after this, so enjoy. Now I know when I read this in class before you enjoyed it lots. One day in class, Duncan went to take out his crayons and found a stack of letters with his name on them. Hey Duncan, it's me, Red Crayon. We need to talk. You make me work harder than all of your other crayons. All year long I wear myself out, colouring fire engines, apples, strawberries and everything else that's red. I even work on holidays. I have to colour all the Santas at Christmas and all the hearts on Valentine's Day. I need a rest. Your overworked friend, Red Crayon. Dear Duncan, all right, listen. I love that I'm your favourite crayon for grapes, dragons and wizards hats. But it makes me crazy that so much of my gorgeous colour goes outside of the lines. If you don't start colouring inside the lines soon, I'm going to completely lose it. Your very neat friend, Purple Crayon. Dear Duncan, I'm tired of being called light brown or dark tan because I am neither. I am beige and I am proud. I'm also tired of being second place to Mr. Brown Crayon. It's not fair that Mr. Brown Crayon gets all the bears, ponies and puppies, while the only things I get are turkey dinners, if I'm lucky. And wheat, and let's be honest, when was the last time you saw a kid excited about colouring wheat? Your beige friend, Beige Crayon. What's my favourite animal? Duncan, Grey Crayon here. You're killing me. I know you love elephants and I know elephants are grey, but that's a lot of space to colour in all by myself. And I don't even get me started on your rhinos, hippos and humpback whales. You know how tired I am after handling one of those things. Such big animals. Baby penguins are grey, you know. So are very tiny rocks, pebbles. How about one of those once in a while to give me a break? Your very tired friend, Grey Crayon. Dear Duncan, you colour with me, but why? Most of the time I'm the same colour as the page you are using me on, white. If I didn't have black outline, you wouldn't even know I was there. I'm not even in the rainbow. I'm only used to colour snow or to fill in empty space between other things. And it leaves me feeling, well, empty. We need to talk. Your empty friend, White Crayon. Hey Duncan. I hate being used to all the outline of things. Things that are coloured in by other colours all of which they think they're brighter than me. It's not fair. When you're using me to draw a nice beach ball and then fill in all the colours of the ball with other crayons, how about a black beach ball sometime? Is that too much to ask? Your friend, Black Crayon. Dear Duncan, as Green Crayon, I am writing for two reasons. One is to say that I like my work. Loads of crocodiles, trees, dinosaurs and frogs. I have no problem and wish to congratulate you on a very successful colouring things green. Colouring things green career so far. The second reason I write is for my friends yellow crayon and orange crayon who are no longer speaking to each other. Both crayons feel they should be the colour of the sun Please settle this soon because they're driving the rest of us crazy. Your happy friend, Green Crayon. So far, Green Crayon's the only happy crayon. Dear Duncan, Yellow Crayon here. 
I need you to tell Orange Crayon that I am the colour of the sun. I would tell him, but we are no longer speaking, and I can prove I'm the colour of the sun too. Last Tuesday, you used me to colour in the sun in your Happy Farm colouring book. In case you've forgotten, it's on page seven. You can't miss me. I'm shining down brilliantly on the field of yellow corn. Your pal and the true colour of the sun, yellow crayon. Dear Duncan, I see Yellow Crayon has already talked to you, the big whiner. Anyway, could you please tell Mr Tattletail that he is not the colour of the sun? I would, but we're no longer speaking. We both know I'm clearly the colour of the sun because on Thursday you used me to colour the sun on both the Monkey Island and the Meet the Zookeeper in your paid book, Day at the Zoo. Aren't you glad I'm here? Ha! Your pal and the real colour of the sun, orange crayon. Dear Duncan, it's been great being your favourite colour this past year and the year before and the year before that. I really enjoyed all the oceans, lakes, rivers, raindrops, rain clouds and clear skies. But the bad news is I'm so short and stubby I can't see over the railing and the crayon box anymore. I need a break. Your very stubby friend, Blue Crayon. Duncan, OK, listen here, kid. You have not used me once in the past year. It's because you think I'm a girl's colour, isn't it? Speaking of which, please tell your little sister I said thank you for using me to colour in her pretty princess colouring book. I think she did a fabulous job of staying inside the lines. Now back to us. Could you please use me some time to colour the occasional pink dinosaur or monster cowboy? Goodness knows, they could use a splash of colour. Your unused friend, Pink Crayon. Oh, that's my favourite one. Hey Duncan, it's me, Peach Crayon. Why did you peel off my paper wrapping? Now I'm naked and too embarrassed to leave the crayon box. I don't even have any underwear. How would you like to go to school naked? I need some clothes. Help, your naked friend, Peach Crayon. Wow. Poor Duncan wanted to colour, and of course he wanted his crayons to be happy, and that gave him an idea. When Duncan showed his teacher his new picture, she gave him a good work sticker for colouring and a gold star for creativity. So you can see on Duncan's picture how he used all different colours for the different objects. So we've got orange whales. We've got some pink horses, pink dinosaurs. And I think he's used both yellow and orange for the sky. 